Now, while waiting for a new Oculus package update, which hopefully will fix some problems with locomotion and transportation, I decided to play around with some assets and try to figure out what the Oculus Quest can actually do in case of performance. But while testing out some awesome assets, I stumbled across some quick tips I would like to share with you. In order to test the performance on the Quest, I actually have to show the frames per seconds on the device. You can do this by creating your own canvas and your own camera and render it by your own or use the OVR debug helper that comes with the Oculus package. The only thing you have to do is change a line of code because it's meant to be used on the Oculus Rift, I think. But you can easily change this to show debug information on the press of the left or right thumbstick. Now, if you go to your scene and select the OVR player controller, you can see that there's automatically an OVR debug info script attached to it. If you don't see it, just attach it by clicking the Add Component button. Now, there's nothing you can change there, but you can double click on it to open it in your editor. If you scroll down, you see this update function. In here, there's this if statement checking for the space bar to be pressed. And we want to change this to the press of the primary thumbstick on the controllers. We can do this by simply using the OVR input class and the get down method. Here you can check if the button was pressed in the last frame. Now if we put in the primary thumbstick here, every time you press it, it will toggle the debug information on and off. That's a very easy method to show the frames per second on runtime. Another difficult thing is to test your scene or your game in the play mode inside of the Unity editor. You can use the command and the alt key to navigate. If you click control and command, you can use the mouse wheel on your mouse to adjust the eye level. Or you can do this by simply clicking on the OVR camera rig. There's this property called head pose relative offset translation. And you can set the Y translation to something like one, for example. Now, if you select the OVR camera rig, you can see on the right side there's this script called Headset Emulation. Here you can change the Activate and the Pitch Keys. But if you're lazy like me and you don't want to press and hold down the Control key while navigating inside your scene, there's an easier way to do it. You can open the OVR Headset Emulator script by double-clicking it. And here, if you scroll all the way down, there's this function called Is Emulation Activated? And if you just change the return value down here from false to true, it's activated by default. So you don't have to press the control key anymore. That means if you now press play, you can navigate around your scene without pressing or holding down the control key. The third quick tip is about importing assets into your project. Now, if you change your build settings to Android and enable the texture compression, it can take a lot of time to import assets, especially if there are some graphics included or some huge textures. To make the import process way faster, you can disable the texture compression for now. Once you're done with your project or your game, you can enable the compression again. But especially for testing out huge assets, it's way faster without the compression. 